Hello everybody, Bruce Elgort here with a demonstration of my CS50W project Wave Catcher. And what Wave Catcher is, is an application that you can use to perform accessibility scans on web pages and store the information in a database. So without any further ado, let's take a look at Wave Catcher. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in. And here is Wavecatcher. So let me quickly take you around the application. So in the navigation bar, we have the new analyses link, the top issues chart link, and some links to some accessibility resources, a logout link, as well as the name of the person logged in. You can see in the application here, these rows in a table of information about scans that you or another user of the system has already performed and stored inside of Wavecatcher. Each one will include the title of the website, the link to the page that was scanned, a link to the Wave uh, report that gets generated, the information, well, the date uh, at the date and the person who performed uh, the scan as well as if the record was updated all right and there's a trash can so you can delete a, 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 a record and to the right you see these columns and these columns contain information that was sent back from the wave API uh, and collected and stored in the database. These first three columns are the ones you, that a person uh, should pay attention to. And as you can see in these red uh, squares here, these are, 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 are scan results where there are in fact issues that need to be addressed. You see that green zero right there? That means there were no errors that needed to be addressed for this particular site here. There are also three other columns on the right, and those uh, provide additional information that will help people evaluate the accessibility of a website. So let's go into the application and click on the new analyses. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in uh, HTTPS colon slash slash google.com and I'm going to leave the viewport width at 1200 pixels. I'm going to click the perform analysis button and now the API is generating all the data and you can see at the bottom of the page here all of this data that's been collected. It provides links to the various uh, things that the API detected as in this case as an error and as you can see here it takes you to a page where you can learn more about that error and how to resolve it. All right, You can then click on the save analysis button right there and the uh, analyses get saved in the database. Here it is right here, Google, and there's the information right there. And if I go back and I click on new document again and I, I type in the same, let me see if I can get this right, google.com, and I'll leave the viewport width the same for now. I'll click on perform analyses and it will come back again with a report. I'll click on Save Analyses, and you'll notice here that it updated the existing record with the data that was collected. All right, and you can see that right here in the view, the updated information. So I'm just going to delete this one for now. It's going to ask me whether I want to um, delete that record for sure, and it's gone. The last thing I want to show is this top issues chart, which is utilizing the chart JS uh, open source charting engine and it shows you uh, and let me just fade away it'll be a little easier to see here it shows right the top issues reported in the 10 analyses the 10 accessibility analysis analyses that were collected in our application so this has been Wavecatcher and uh, if you ever have any questions please let me know have a good day and thank you for watching.